Hey everyone, this is Stephen Robles, the Bearded Teacher, and today I'm going to show you how to put parental restrictions on your Apple TV. I've done videos in the past about screen time settings on iPhone and iPad devices. If you need help with setting that up on those devices, check out the video at the link above. I go into in-depth on everything in the screen time settings, how to set a screen time passcode so your kids can't change those settings and all that. But today I want to talk about the Apple TV because a lot of times you probably have an Apple TV if you have one in a family room like a living room or a den and anyone can pick up the Apple TV remote and access that TV and any of the apps that are there including things like YouTube, renting movies, and you can password protect rentals, but if you have other apps like HBO Max or there's R-rated movies in your library, you might not want your kids to be able to access those on their own and without any supervision. So I'm going to show you how to put some restrictions on your Apple TV where you'll have to enter a four-digit passcode every time you want to be able to access PG-13 movies or higher or even the YouTube app. So I'm accessing my Apple TV right here, and this is running tvOS 15.2, which is the latest. But these restrictions are available even in tvOS 14, 13, and earlier. So I'm going to go down to the Settings app, and here in the Settings app, I'm actually going to go to the General menu, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Restrictions. When I click Restrictions, you'll see I have no restrictions set just yet. But I'm going to choose to turn these on by clicking with the Apple TV remote, and this is where you're going to set your restrictions passcode. Now you don't want to set this in front of your kids so they can see what numbers you're putting in. You probably want to use your iPhone. If you have an iPhone or even an iPad, you can actually use a remote app on your iPhone to control your Apple TV and even enter this passcode so your kids can't see you scrolling from number to number. I'm actually going to show you how to access this on your iPhone right now so you know. I'm going to swipe down from the top right corner of my phone. If you have a phone with Face ID, that's where you're going to access the control center. If you have a phone older than that with a home button, you're actually going to swipe up from the bottom. But here, I'm actually going to go to the Apple remote icon down here. When I tap that, I'll actually be able to choose an Apple TV in my home that's connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to choose Office because that's the Apple TV I'm controlling. Now when I tap that, you'll actually see this keyboard automatically popped up because it knows that I need to enter a passcode. And when I press the numbers here on my phone, it will not show up on the TV. So your kids won't see what passcode you're setting. I'm just going to do four zeros for right now. And I just set it. I have to re-enter it as I'm setting it up for the first time. So I'm going to do four zeros again. And it says passcode created. And I can actually just tap right here on the screen and swipe up and down to control my Apple TV. By the way, if you don't see that little Apple TV remote icon in your control center, you can actually enable that in settings. If you go to the settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to where it says control center, you can actually choose what icons show up in the control center for you. And if you don't have the Apple TV remote enabled, you can just add the plus button. You see mine is right there, Apple TV remote. But if yours is down here and doesn't show up, just tap the plus button and it'll add it to your control center. And again, you'll probably want to enter the passcode whenever the TV is on using your iPhone or iPad device. Same process to get it in the control center on your iPad. This way your kids don't see the passcode and can't unlock the Apple TV. Now here in the restriction settings, I already set the passcode. If you need to change the passcode again, you can do that there. I'm going to go down to purchase and rental. And I can say anytime I want to purchase something or rent something, I need to put in that four digit passcode. If you've had a child accidentally rent things or buy things before, you can turn that on to restrict purchases and rentals. The same with in-app purchases. This could mean rentals through a third-party streaming service. You can also get video games on your Apple TV, and some of them may have in-app purchases, and you can restrict that here as well. Or you can just block it altogether. Just so you know, I'm actually going back to the Apple TV remote, you know, and I'm just clicking on there to select these things but you can also use your iPhone or iPad device as well. Make sure your country is selected in that ratings for area. For music and podcasts, I can choose to only allow clean music and podcasts unless I put in the passcode. Music videos, you can block those if you don't want your kids to be able to see music videos on the Apple TV. You can also hide music profiles, which is uh, artists might have profile pages. You can hide those on the Apple TV. Now here's the important part. For movies, maybe you want to make it so only PG movies can be played without that passcode. So I'm going to choose PG. Any movie rated PG-13 or higher can't be played without that four-digit restriction passcode that I have set. Same thing with TV shows. You can set an age there. 
Maybe you want PG or TV 14 as the setting there. And apps, here's the important part. If you want to restrict YouTube and maybe some other apps that are, you know, older apps or might have content that you don't want your kids to see, I would choose the 12 plus, maybe even the 9 plus rating. And that means when they try to open an app like YouTube, it will ask for that restrictions passcode. So I'm going to do 12 plus because I want to make sure that the YouTube app can't be accessed. You can also choose to hide explicit language if they talk to Siri using the Apple TV remote. And you also have some game center settings there that you can restrict or block. Also, airplay settings, if you want to make sure they can't disable airplay, you can restrict those things. Location services settings, you can choose to restrict those, on and on. The most important ones that you're probably concerned about, though, are those apps age rating, which you probably want to put to 12+, plus, especially if you want to restrict YouTube, and the movies and TV show ratings. So now that I've set these settings here in the restrictions settings, I'm going to go back to my home page, and I'm actually going to try and open the YouTube app. And this is what will happen if you've set these settings correctly. When I click the YouTube app, you'll see that I have to put in that four-digit passcode that I set in order to unlock the YouTube app. So your kids will not be able to access it without your knowledge and without you around. Now again, I would recommend putting in the passcode numbers with your iPhone so they don't see it on the TV. But mine was just the four zeros like I said before. So I'm going to click the zero four times. And now you'll see I'll be let into the YouTube app. Now setting this movie ratings restriction does not affect all the apps on your Apple TV. So if they go into Disney Plus and try to watch Infinity War from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they'll be able to play it because these restrictions don't carry into every streaming app. But when you do restrict app age levels like 9 plus or 12 plus, then you'll be able to restrict those individual apps. Now, if you ever want to see what age bracket will affect what apps, you can go to the App Store on your Apple TV. And let's go to HBO Max and see what the ages are for that app. And you'll see the age rating there on the right side is 12 plus. So that means if I download the HBO Max application and I set my restrictions to ages 12 plus needs the passcode, my kids won't be able to get into the HBO Max app without that four digit passcode. Other apps may have different age demographics like going down to Disney Plus, see they say age four plus, and that's the youngest rating that you can put in the restrictions settings. Other apps like Peacock you'll see are mostly 12 plus, Paramount Plus, Discovery Plus are all 12 plus. So most apps, if you leave it on that 12 plus age restriction, will prompt you for that four digit passcode as you try to open the apps on your Apple TV. Hope that helped you figure out how you can restrict some of those apps and access on the Apple TV that's usually accessible by everyone in the house pretty much all the time. If you'd like more tips and tricks for Apple devices, maybe you'd like to learn how to build your own website or host your own podcast, I have tons of other videos on my channel. You can subscribe by going to youtube.com slash beardedteacher or hit the subscribe button below. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. And I'd love to interact with you in the comments below. Is there something that you would like to learn, whether you're using Apple devices, Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, something like that, or another part? Maybe you want to learn about email marketing or website design. I'd love to help you there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Steven Robles, and you can shoot questions to me there. I'd love to interact with you in the comments. Thanks for tuning into this video. I'll catch you next time.